This is a Game Caviar production. Not having in the Game Caviar Studios. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. Been very busy, but now I have a lot of free time on my hands. And today I want to bring you the big Xbox One versus PS4 comparison. Uh, one of the cool things that IGN has done recently ha is put together a nice little chart. So I'm going to go down that chart and compare the two upcoming systems and then i'm going to give my insight if time allows i only i've recorded like nine minutes of video so i should be good but anyway let's dive right into it first of all xbox one was recently revealed by microsoft and the uh the whole announcement keynote event was really strange man for this to be a next gen gaming console they really didn't show many games. A lot of people have said that. It was really weird. It was almost like they weren't announcing a gaming console. They were announcing their own, um, what is it called? Like a set-top cable box almost that just, it can play games as well. That's the way they came off with it. Whereas PlayStation 4 was like, boom, it's a PlayStation. You play games on it, fool. Wow. Anyway, both the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One are going to have Blu-ray, DVD, uh, drives this was a big thing with the current gen out right now as you can remember xbox had well xbox 360 had the hd dvd drive something that you had to buy separately and then hd dvd failed so now you have the blu-ray drive within the uh xbox one and that's a good thing because you can add more data to a blu-ray disc anytime that you have like a battlefield 3 or, or games like that on xbox 360 and they are two discs whereas on playstation 3 they are one disc it's because playstation 3 has their blu-ray uh dvd drive uh that blu-ray drive and xbox 360 doesn't uh both systems offer in-game dvr something that playstation and sony showed um during their announcement of the ps4 where you can record certain level certain parts of a level in the game and then you can upload it to uh, YouTube, I'm guessing YouTube or Facebook, uh, probably all of the social network places. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Xbox One will also have a feature like that. I don't know whether they showed that feature. I missed like the first 30 minutes of it, so uh, please bear with me on this. I do know, according to this list, it says they will have game DVR. I don't know exactly how it's going to work on Xbox. They, they, I'm pretty sure they'll show it on E3, which is just coming up next month as a matter of fact so stay tuned on that one moving on to the ram eight gigabytes gddr5 ram for ps4 and eight gigabytes ddr3 ram for xbox one there's a lot of discussion on that from what i understand the the gddr5 is technically slower than the ddr3 but if you need to move lots of information, then it it is techno, um, it is superior than the uh, DDR3. So it looks like what Sony did right here is they made um, a pretty good choice with their with their RAM because the newer system, newer games, more memory needs to be pushed further and faster. And with the GDDR5 memory, it looks like they're going to be able to do that. I literally had to Google that. And luckily, I found a website that had the difference between the two of them. And I was able to gain some really good insight on that. CPU. PlayStation 4. Single chip x86 AMD Jaguar processor. Eight cores. Uh, Xbox One will have an eight core Microsoft custom CPU. I don't know... Uh, what the Xbox 360 had whether that was a custom CPU too, but when I, the first thing that popped in my mind when I saw 8 core Microsoft custom CPU was the damn the the cell uh, CPU that uh, that Sony used in the PlayStation 3 and I was like uh, I don't know how that's gonna work out Anyway, I really don't I, I could probably do some research on these two probably do a follow-up video but uh it's got eight cores. Both of them have eight cores, so they're pretty much right at each other. Uh, if there are any differences between them, they probably will be very small, and I, I don't know. Uh, storage, 500 gigabyte hard drive for Xbox One. Uh, PlayStation 4 has not, uh, Sony has not announced how much data or how big the hard drive will be. 
but you can look for at least three to five hundred gigabytes of hard drive with everything moving to the cloud I don't think that it's gonna be any higher than 500 gigabytes I don't see why they would do that 500 gigabytes is a lot uh, but you know I don't know with you with people having the uh, the the option to download games now 500 gigabytes the games are going to be bigger now don't I mean if you have a PlayStation 4 with a 500 gigabyte hard drive uh, don't look at it now because games now are like three to four gigabytes so you're like 500 gigabytes that's a lot of that's a lot of memory uh, don't try to sell it short but you got to think the next gen games are going to be more memory so you're looking at uh, upwards of maybe 10 gigabytes a game I don't know that's just something that's that I'm pulling out of my ass here uh, Sony has not stated whether or not you could use external storage, although you probably could. Microsoft says yes, you can through USB. Uh, both system offer both systems offer cloud storage. Uh, Sony has not said whether or not you have to do a mandatory game install. Uh, according to this chart, Microsoft says yes, you do. Let me check my time real quick. All right, I'm good. Uh, let's see here. Use game fee. Huge, huge. Huge argument point right here. Microsoft says, yes, you have to pay to play used games on our system. Sony has not said a word yet. If I'm a betting man, I would say that Sony is going to be like, no, you don't have to. Even if they were planning to do it after Microsoft said, yes, yes, you have to pay us to play a used game on our system. And the backlash that they're getting, if if Sony has any, any type of in intelligence in their decision makers... They would scrap that idea immediately. Backwards compatible? No. No. The only next-gen console that is backwards compatible is the Wii U. Uh, let's see here. Cross-game chat. Both PS4 and Xbox One will have cross-game chat. So all the people who love the PS3 and want cross-game chat can shut the hell up about it because it's coming in PS4. Uh, motion control. Uh, the DualShock 4, PlayStation uh, 4i, and PlayStation Move. For the PS4 and then Xbox to connect to, which will always be on and always be watching you, which is creepy as hell. I must say that. The second screen, PlayStation Vita, will go along with PlayStation 4 as a second screen. And uh, the Smart Glass, which you can download on tablets and uh, probably iPads and tablets. You know, well, iPad is a tablet, but Android tablets and Apple tablets. Uh, that's going to be what you're going to use as a second screen. Finally, a reason for me to use my PlayStation Vita. I've been holding on for it. I've been holding on to it like a Fabri J egg. And now I have a reason. Voice commands. We don't know about PlayStation 4. And of course, yes, on um, Xbox One. Uh, let's see here. Subscription service. Uh, Xbox Live, of course, for Xbox One. And I'm, I, it says T TBA on here, but I'm pretty sure they're going to have the same playstation plus i don't think they're gonna I, I don't see that changing anymore because it's genius uh usb both use usb 3.0 i don't know why that would be i don't i don't understand it live streaming uh you can on ps4 it hasn't been announced on microsoft uh xbox one and uh trophies and achievements will be ported to next gen consoles so there you have it the rest of it is like web connection both use the 802.11 bgn uh, Wi-Fi, blah, 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 Bluetooth. Um, Sony says yes for PS4. This says no. Uh, yeah, this says no Bluetooth. No Bluetooth on Xbox One. And it says down at the bottom, confirmed to IGN by Microsoft representative. So that sucks. And, of course, they both have HDMI, 4K support, uh, AV hookups. Um, you cannot use a standard television with the Xbox One, but you can with the PS4. So... Take it for what it's worth. That was a pretty good list. Anyway, let me know what you're planning on getting, and we'll discuss it. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios. I was playing Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, by the way. I'm out. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.